Hey there, Chad Bonninger here for Ohio University Libraries. In this video, we'll be looking at several key resources to help you find stock reports and equity reports in order to effectively analyze your companies in the automobile industry, particularly GM and Ford. So here you go. The first resource we'll look at is S&P Net Advantage. And to find what you're looking for here, you can basically go over and search by company name or by ticker. So if we want to go and search for Ford, we can just do F or search for Ford that way. Uh, do a search there. Uh, here we have Ford Motor Company. And what we're looking for in here is the stock reports. There's all other kinds of information in here, but for this purpose of this video, I'm just looking for stock reports. Click in there, it'll take you to the stock report. And here we can see whether you have buy, sell, hold information, things like that for, for your particular company. These reports have a great amount of financial information here, as well as I like, uh, as a former history major, like all the, uh, the actual uh, textual analysis in here as well. So these average about 10 pages or so in length. So uh, good information to look at uh, within uh, the S&P stock reports. Merging Online also has stock reports, or in this case they call them equity reports. The easiest way to get a hold of these is actually go in and search for Ford and find Ford Motor Company there uh, in the list. And then under the reports section, you'll see that there's these equity reports. And the nice thing about this, they also will list some of the competitors here as well. So clicking on the PDF link will take you directly to uh, the report. And here we have the, uh, the Ford Equity Research Report. Uh, this is not written by Ford. This is the actual company. We're just having to be analyzing Ford here. And you can see these are about five pages in length or so. Give you some nice information to complement uh, or perhaps contrast what you find in the uh, S&P stock reports as well. So it's important to compare multiple reports because you know one may be a little bit off or your, your other one may have slightly different opinions of the company. One source is another place to find analyst reports. And this, in fact, they actually call them analyst reports within the, the menu here. Just do a company search, find your company. If it's public, they'll have analyst reports written over here on the left-hand side. So you click on the analyst reports. It'll take you to the available analyst reports that are available there. And uh, this is pretty generic and has the same information that you have over here. But what we're looking for down here is these other, other reports from other, um, other uh, brokerage firms and places like that. So here's one for Ford Motor. Here's one for Ford Motor Company, things like that. And those will open PDFs of other places to look for equity reports uh, within one source. This is an example of the, the type of report you'll find in one source. This is from JP Morgan. And you can see they don't really give you a buy, sell, hold um, uh, information here. They just give you a, a weighting over here on the right hand side. But they also give you lots of analysis right here in the middle of the page. So a good place to look for uh, alternative places to look for information on um, uh, how your company is being analyzed. I should also say the analyst reports will vary depending on the time they are posted. So you won't find the same JP Morgan report for Ford that you will for GM. Okay, so you want to, it's, it's kind of random as a matter of fact. So you won't necessarily find the same reports there. If you want consistency, you'll want to look at the S&P reports and the emergent reports. These just give you other opinions that you can use uh, in analyzing uh, your, your companies as well. Finally, the next place we'll look on the guide to research in automobile manufacturing industry. I'll just link you directly to the actual reports here. These are called uh, Zach's Equity Reports. These are in LexisNexis. It's a little bit hard to get to. So we'll just click on Zach's report for Ford here. We'll open this up in LexisNexis. And then you just click here to get the full text report in PDF format. And that's going to give us another place to look for um, for stock reports as well. And these give you the Zach's reports here, which are uh, about eight or ten pages or so. And another place to find uh, some analysis as well of your of your company. And I just link you directly there because those are a little bit difficult to find within uh, LexisNexis. The last resource we're looking at here is actually a picture of the value value line investment survey. And this is also listed on my automobile industry guide on the business blog. And this is available at the second floor desk in Alden. It's also available at a lot of different libraries. Um, and basically, this gives you on one page, we're looking at Barnes Noble here, an older edition of the book. Uh, but it gives you some financial information here, as well as some forecast information here as well, and a small write up. So, this is kind of like a mini stock report. This is that a lot of people look at when they're looking at investment strategies and things like that. So, there will also be a small report on the overall industry as a whole. So, it's a good place to find not only company information, but a small tidbit of industry information as well. So, even though it's in print, doesn't mean it's not valuable. It's still a very good resource. And I would definitely encourage you to look at it. So, so there's Value Line. It's available at the second floor desk in Alden Library at Ohio University. 
Hopefully this helps you find the stock reports you need to effectively analyze your companies. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.